Hello. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can drag and drop GLTF models into your Unity project using the Piglet asset. So I'm going to go to the Sketchfab website and I'm going to download an example model and then I'll demonstrate how you can import that model into your project. Um, so suppose we were looking for a treasure chest. I'm going to filter down to only downloadable models and sort by most likes so that we get the best models at the top. I'm going to skip over uh, models with the dollar sign in the corner because that means you have to pay for them. Otherwise I'm just going to look for a nice simple test model. This one looks good. Um, just a side note, uh, do check the licensing requirements on the model before you use it in your game. Uh, I find that a lot of the time the only requirement is that you credit the author for their work. Uh, so click the download 3D model link, choose the GLTF format, So you, I've got my download directory on the left here in Windows Explorer. Um, you'll see that we get a zip file. If we open that zip file, the uh, GLTF file is inside, and, and along with some other related files. But um, we don't have to unpack the, this before we import it into our project. Uh, Piglet will do that for us. Um, so now let's go back to Unity. So I'm in Unity 2019.3 with a blank new project. So the first thing I will do is install Piglet to the project. Uh, normally you would do this from the Unity Asset Store, um, but I'm doing it from a package file because it's not on the Asset Store yet. Okay, Piglet is finished installing. Uh, it's added the Piglet and plugins directories. I'm going to add another directory called models to hold our uh, treasure chest model. So now all we have to do is drag and drop the zip file into that directory. So there's a conversion process that takes place and then you'll see the model come up in Unity. So this is uh, Unity prefab that it's generated. Um, so it places this prefab in a new subdirectory that's named after the input file. So in our case, the input file happened to be named pirate A chest A. So there's our prefab. So we can take that prefab and drag it and drop it into our scenes to use it in the game. Okay, uh, so the importer also uh, extracts the textures, materials, and meshes that make up the model. So this can be a handy resource if the materials are general purpose. For example, if you get a, um, a material for brick or wood or glass or metal, something like that, um, there's a chance that you would be able to reuse that material and uh, apply it to your own 3D models. Okay, that's all I wanted to say for the editor imports. Um, one last thing I'd like to show is the Piglet WebGL demo. So the purpose of the WebGL demo is just to allow people to test their own models, their own GLTF files with the asset before they actually buy the asset. So on the left here, I've got some example models. So you can click and drag these links to the view area to see them. Um, but there's also this browse button in the top left corner. Um, so you can use that to open a GLTF file on your own hard drive. Uh, so for example, I've got a fish model here, which I can open and view. Okay, that concludes the demo. Thank you very much.